Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this today's video, we are going to see like what I have created recently, the ng confirm box. Okay, so this is the package created by me. And uh, in this video, we are going to see what is this package all about. Okay, so before starting to the video, so let me first, let me show you that there was one more package. It was created by me, which was ng angular pop-up. If you haven't seen that video I, I would say go ahead and watch that video i think that will be very helpful for you to use in your project okay so before again starting to the like the installation things how we can install and set up all all these things but let's first see what was the problem which i faced because of which i had to create this ng confirm box all right okay so if you see this is uh, just a small application a quiz application of the admin section so here we have like some quiz list in your in, inside the table okay so what i need to do is once i click on this delete icon i want to move this active question like this question from active section to the archive section okay so if you see the behavior at the moment if i click on this delete it directly send it to the archive section which is which is not good correct because uh, like if the user can accidentally click on this so it, it is not asking for any confirmation so which is bad right like i think that is bad i'm not sure about this but yeah so for that i think there should be something to be created okay so we have something called as uh, confirm in in javascript so for example let me first show you what does confirm does in in javascript okay so let me come to the code so here so this was the method which was sending it to the archive section okay so this was my logic to send to the database call and, and stuff like that okay so i'll remove this logic i'll just cut that logic and i will have my confirm so this is the javascript method okay so it asks for are you sure okay so it asks for a question in a if condition if I say press yes, then the condition is true and this will execute my logic of sending it to the archive. Okay, so let's just save it and let's see the behavior. Okay, what it does after that. Okay, so now I want to again archive this question number to the question ID 2. So if I click on this delete icon, so now can you see I'm getting a confirm box. Uh, but don't you think this is very basic? Okay, this looks not like we are in 2020 and you should not use this kind of things right in your project so for that so that was the reason that i have created this ng confirm box okay now let's see that how we can create this in like how we can install this in your project and and we can make use of it okay so to do this we have total four steps to follow okay step number one we need to copy this command and we need to paste it inside your terminal okay so in this way we can install the package so npm i ng confirm box so this will install this package uh, in your project okay so let it get done okay so step number one is done step number two is we need to import the module okay so we need to import this ng confirm module inside your app module file okay so this is the this is the line which you need to copy and uh, let's go in your app module and let's paste it okay and now you need to uh, like use this inside your import array so let's say your ng confirm module okay so we need to have this inside your imports array so yeah step number two is also done okay so the step number three and i would say this is one of the important step okay to import like not to import to use the selector okay so we need to um, copy the selector and paste it inside your index.html file okay so let's go in the app component.html and here let's just add ng confirm Okay. So this is the most important if you don't have this selector then the pop-up will not be visible. Okay, so three steps are done. What is the step number four? So in step number four, we need to inject the service and make use of it. Okay, 
So let's go in the quiz list. So in this component, I want to use that uh, confirm pop-up. So what I'll do first, I will go ahead and inject the service. I'll say private confirm service. And let's call that service ng confirm service. So this is the one ng confirm service. Okay. So if you see on the top, it is auto imported as well. Okay, from ng confirm box. So this is the part. All right. So now let's use this ng confirm service. So wherever we had that uh, the JavaScript confirm. So let's remove this if condition. It's no more needed. Okay. And let me put some enter to let you know what I will be doing next. So we just need to say this dot confirm service dot. So there is an option called as show confirm. Okay. So inside that you just need to put your message. Are you sure want to archive? Okay, the question mark. Okay, so if the user press yes, so we need to put two functions there. Okay, so first one. So inside this block, so we'll having two blocks, first block and this is the second block. Okay, so the first block is for if the user press yes, so you can write whatever logic you want to execute if the user press yes. So for me, this was the logic which I want to execute if the user press yes. Okay, and this is the logic for no, if you keep it empty, so it will not. Okay, let's add something in the no section as well. Let's add alert as user selected no. Okay, so we can put our both the logic for yes and no in the confirm box. Okay, so once this is done, okay, let's see the behavior on the UI, how things looks now. Okay, so if you go in your application again, so this is the question ID I want to archive. So I click on this, delete, and this is how, it, what it shows now. So a good looking confirm box. If I press on yes, okay, so can you see that third, like, like the question ID three has been moved to archive section. You see here? the archive section and if you press no suppose if i again accidentally clicked on this delete and i don't want to send it to archive i can click and no okay and you can see the alert has been triggered that user selected no and it's still here in this section all right so this was all about um using this ng confirm box like if you still have any like issue related to this um, library you can comment me or like you can connect with me on telegram or you can also use the comment section to put up your thoughts or whatever error or issue you are facing while installing this app like this library i will be there to help you guys okay okay then till that time bye bye and keep learning guys